We are joined by Chief Loy Center. He is the chairperson for the Program Planning Committee and Council. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And talk to us in regards to what the council does during the conference here. Sure, the Program Planning Committee and Council is responsible for setting the educational agenda for Fire Rescue Inter International. It's comprised of 14 uh, professionals who represent the fire service at the career uh, combination as well as uh, volunteer levels. And give us a glimpse of what that education looks like this year at FRI. Well, this year we have a number of programs. We have two basic areas, the core education programs as well as the officer development. In the core education programs, we have about nine tracks and 108 sessions. Uh, on the uh, officer development program side, we have seven different levels and just over 100 uh, different sessions that are being offered. And talk to us about the impact that this brings to a conference like FRI. Well, FRI is focused very strongly on developing current and future leaders in the fire service at the company officer level as well as the chief officer level. And the more that we can do to develop those individuals to go back to their communities, uh, provide good solid leadership, make effective decisions, particularly uh, in difficult times that we're facing today uh, at, at substantial risks, the better off the fire service as a whole is going to be in the future. And let's look forward to 2017. What are the proposals for FRI then? Well, the uh, call for proposals is open currently. It will stay open until October 2nd um, for the FRI 2017. Uh, I would encourage anyone who's interested in presenting uh, next year to take a look at some of the programs that were offered at this FRI. We're always looking for something new and fresh. It doesn't mean we won't bring a program back uh, for a repeat session in a, in a future FRI, but we're always looking for new and emerging topics. Uh, the other important thing to remember is to take the time to develop a well-written proposal. Um, if we have a proposal that has poor grammar, poor punctuation, is not complete, that's probably not going to get uh, very high consideration. Uh, and take a look at the programs that uh, your own individual department has offered. If you've got something that's new and innovative and the rest of the fire service may benefit from it, I encourage you to, to apply and, can, and be considered for next year. Fantastic. Chief Loy Center, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you.